James Lawson. After months on the run, a shackled James Lawson entered a Middletown courtroom this afternoon charged with murder. As the victim's family looked on, a judge set no bond for Lawson. The victim, 33-year-old Cheryl Durkin, her official cause of death released just yesterday by the coroner, multiple blows to the head. Police believe Lawson killed Durkin at his home here on the 200 block of Garfield Street, that he murdered her in the bedroom, then dragged her body down the steps and through a hole in the wall leading to the basement. Police say it was here in the basement of the house where Lawson used a saw to cut up Cheryl Durkin's body. He then painted the floor and walls with this gray paint in an attempt to cover up the crime. In April, Durkin's torso was found alongside the Great Miami River in Hamilton. Police say it wasn't until late May, three months after the murder, when Lawson's mother, Ellen Peck, disposed of the rest of the body parts. She buried them in two shallow graves in Preble County and near Brookville Lake. In a Butler County courtroom this morning, Peck apologized to Durkin's family. The victim's mother sat with a picture of her daughter in her lap. Other family members called for justice. We didn't get a decent burial because of what Ellen Peck did. I want justice to be done here today. And I'd like for Ellen Peck to take a good look at my sister, because that's what we've got to look at for the rest of our lives. <laughs> But there's a lot of pain because it's late. The judge Would then sentenced this, Peck. I, I think the conduct in this case is outrageous. To four years in prison for obstructing justice. I hope my beautiful daughter's big blue eyes, that she'll see those eyes every night, that she'll not have no peace for what she did. James Lawson, meantime, will be back in court next Wednesday. In Butler County, Lynn Giroux, Channel 9 News.